I just bought a Razer Hammerhead Pro version 2 from a premium shopping mall labeled seller for 651 pesos, which is roughly 13 US dollars. That's actually cheap if it's really from Razer, unless of course this is a knockoff. So what do I think about it and is it worth buying? Let's find out. But first, roll the intro. Hey guys, my name is Zach and this is GG Fistbump. In this channel, I talk about video games, I do gameplays, I do emulation and modding tutorials, and I do unboxing and reviews just like this one. So if you like this kind of content, it would really help if you would click on subscribe then hit on that notification bell to stay up to date with my latest videos. Okay, so one of the reasons why I decided to buy wired earphones in 2022 despite having Bluetooth earbuds is so that I can have a portable way of quickly connecting my devices with 3.5mm audio jacks. This includes my tablet, my Nintendo Switch, my PS Vita, and even my laptop. Yes, I can actually use my Bluetooth earbuds in all these devices, but I have to unpair them with my previous device before pairing them with the next device. And that takes time. So having earphones that I can quickly connect would definitely be a convenience. Now, I saw the Razer Hammerhead Pro version 2 on Shopee and what got my attention is that it comes from a Shopee mall partner. Usually, that's reserved for sellers with licensed products. Right now, it's priced at 698 pesos, about 14 US dollars, but you can use vouchers and wait during occasional sales. With vouchers, I was able to bring the price down to 651 pesos, including shipping, so not bad. Now, before I give my thoughts on these earphones with a microphone, let's unbox this first. In the box, you have a letter from the Razer CEO printed on the box. Then, as for the paperwork, you get some Razer stickers as well as the manual. Now, you do get a carrying pouch which is nice because you don't have to worry about the wires tangling with your things. Inside, you have an audio splitter, which is usable in some PCs with a separate microphone jack. Then you have interchangeable ear tips. And now we have your green wired Razer earphones. This comes with an inline microphone with action control buttons. And the wire that we have here are flat style cables which can prevent them from being too tangled. Then of course, there's that 3.5mm jack. Now here are the specs of the Hammerhead Pro version 2. Alright, so let's try to register the product to see if it's authentic. So we'll place the serial number, the product number which is in the box. Then date of purchase. Okay, then we click on next. Ooh. And the registration is successful. We already have the Razer Hammerhead Pro version 2 already here. Wow! Wow, amazing! Okay, so now that we've checked the authenticity, let's try the product. Now do take note that these are stereo earphones, not 7.1 surround sound headphones. Meaning, if you'll be using this for competitive gaming like first-person shooters, the audio depth of footsteps, for example, if they're near or far, at the front, back, left, or right, won't be as pronounced as surround sound headphones. But for casual gamers, Zoom meetings, listening to music or YouTube videos like those in my channel, stereo earphones should be enough. So I tested this with Halo Infinite on PC and it's alright, it gets the job done. 
I can also use this on my PS5's DualSense controller, which has a 3.5mm port. It's actually comfortable in the ears. Now let's try the microphone so that you'll know how it sounds like when you communicate with other players over at Discord, or if you want to use this as your earphone and microphone for your video conferencing like Zoom. Alright guys, so this is the microphone test of the Razer Hammerhead Pro version 2 and this is what the microphone sounds like if you wear the earphones normally. Now the microphone is located here, so if you place the microphone near to your mouth, your voice should get louder. So what do you guys think of the microphone of the Razer Hammerhead Pro version 2? Just leave it in the comments. So if you just want to listen to music or to the sounds of your games that's also portable as compared to full headphones, at this price point, the Hammerhead Pro version 2 is okay. The microphone is functional and you can get by with it, but it takes effort if you want your voice to be louder because of the position of the mic. So it's a con in that department. There are earphones with microphone that you can place near your mouth like the HP 150, but I'm not a fan of these kinds of microphones, especially if you're just lying down playing on your handheld. So what do you guys think of the Razer Hammerhead Pro version 2? Will you get one? Just leave it in the comments down below. And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Then hit on that notification bell for more content just like this. Again, I'm Zach, and this is GG Fistbump.